going to demonstrate how to create an anonymous survey in Sakai, which would be appropriate for, say, a midterm course evaluation from, for students to take, where you wouldn't want to know students' identity, but you would want to make it available to them through Sakai, especially if you're using Sakai already. So if you haven't already enabled tests and quizzes in your course, you'll need to do that first, and you can do that through Site Info, Edit Tools, and check tests and quizzes. I've already done that there. And then be sure to click continue and finish. And then tests and quizzes will appear on the navigation menu. So click tests and quizzes to go in there. And now you're going to create your assessment. So here under assessments, new assessment, create assessment, we're going to enter a title. So I'm going to use midterm our mid course evaluation and now we're ready to add some questions so I'm going to have a add a question select a question type and I want students to provide a short answer these are going to be open-ended responses so here's a tricky thing. You're going to need to make sure that you award this at least one point. Now this isn't going to be recorded in the gradebook any, anywhere. This is really just a bug in Sakai. You're going to have to just enter something here or you're going to get a notification eventually that says you can't do this because the questions don't have any point value. So it doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense, but that's what you're going to need to do. So there under question text, I've got some information I'm going to paste in here. So list the major strengths in the course, what's helping you learn, please explain briefly or give an example for each strength. So they'll have plenty of room to respond there. And we're going to just skate by all the rest of this and just simply click save. Okay, so now we have that and I'm going to add another question. So another short answer essay question with a point value and then paste that in. List changes that could be made in the course to assist you in learning. Please explain how suggested changes could be made. And then scroll down to the bottom and click Save. Okay. And then we will add a third question, another short answer essay. One point. Your comments. and click Save. So now that my questions are created, I'm going to adjust the settings of the survey here. Uh, so I clicked Settings and I'm going to open up all of the settings here. And then I'm going to scroll down to Assessment Release 2 and make sure to select Anonymous Users. By default, the second selection the course, which means the students would be identified, will be selected. Make sure that anonymous users is selected and the screen will refresh. And then you can make any other changes that you want for the delivery of the survey. So I'm going to just save settings here. And now I'm going to click publish. So we can publish with notification if we want to, which means that will send a message out to students. Probably not a bad idea, so we could do that. Um, for the purpose of this example, though, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy the URL. This is the URL that you're going to use for students to access the survey. If you're familiar with Sakai tests and quizzes, well, then you may know that students generally go to that area, so they click that link on the bar to go take their, their test or their quiz. But with anonymous surveys, they're not going to be listed there for students. Uh, so you can take this link. In fact, you need to take the link and distribute it to them some other way. So I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy it. And again, you could send a notification if you wanted to here. In this case, I'm, I'm just not going to just because I don't want to send this to my users in my um, test course here. But I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Okay, so you can have several pending assessments here and some published assessments, but mid-course evaluation, 
that's what we just published and um, so no one's taken it yet and haven't told anybody about it yet and no one's submitted anything but it's released to anonymous users so no identifying information. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the home page here and I'm going to, um, I could put the link to the take the survey here. I could add an announcement or I could send out an email message to students that could have done that through notifications as well. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create an announcement. So I'm adding an announcement here. I'm going to paste in the announcement to students here and we'll look at this pretty closely so please complete the midterm course evaluation so I've taken the link um, I've composed this in Word and then taken the link and, and made midterm course evaluation that very long URL that I copied and I'm reassuring students here because the interface language will confuse them so your answers will be completely anonymous and ungraded. However, in order to submit your answers, you'll need to click the Submit for Grading button, in fact, twice. And despite the Sakai speak in the interface about point scores and such, your answers will not be graded or associated with your identity. So just some reassurances there for students. So then I'm going to, I was editing that, so now I have made that available to students and added that announcement. And you could distribute this information to students in a number of ways. I just happen to use announcements here. Now let's see what the answers look like. Um, it was easy for me to test this and you can test your yours on your own too. Um, all you have to do is click the link that you gave students because again this is completely anonymized which means you can stand in place of a student and see what um, this is going to look like before you make it live. So I'm going to go to Tests and Quizzes and then under Published Assessments you can see that I've got three submissions here from anonymous users. So let's take a look at this. I'm just going to click this number and then that's going to give me the submission ID but there's no identification other than that. That just takes me to that particular student's responses. So if I want to see these, I can go to questions and this is going to show one question at a time. You can navigate from one question to another up here. And if you don't want to keep mousing over or clicking to see individual student responses, you can change this responses pop up to responses in line and then you can read what those answers are and go to the next question. And you can look at things much more easily, of course, if you export the information. And that's going to open that in Excel. So this is what the spreadsheet will look like with the all the responses listed there and the questions and columns. If all you're going to use tests and quizzes for is to create anonymous surveys, you can also just hide this from students because they're probably going to be confused. They're going to click on it and they're not going to see anything listed under tests and quizzes. So what we can do to hide this from the menu is go to site information and page order and we can click this light bulb icon which will hide the following page from normal users which in this case means students. Once we click that, that dims the bulb and then we can click save. And now you can see that tests and quizzes has changed to be sort of faded out and italicized and that is a visual indicator to you as an instructor that students will not see this as a menu navigation item.